Over the past 17 years, this festival has grown into an award-winning celebration and our salsa family has grown as well. We are so proud to have such a rich and diverse community of Latino musicians and Latino artists. But the growth of this community would not be possible if we didn't have a special place for them to call home. Lula Lounge has quickly become the home of many Latino musicians in the city and over the past two decades they've become vital to the development of Latino musicians and their careers. So we invite you to learn a little bit more about Lula Lounge, what they do and their role in the community. Lula has become a bit of a hub for, for musicians to come and one, try out new material, try out um, in front of a live audience, try out songs, compose new music, but also see each other. So, uh, you know, a band one night sees, or musicians from one night sees another group, they go up on stage, they interchange ideas, they get influenced, uh, they get inspired. Uh, and this happens on a weekly basis, which is really one of the secret ingredients of all of this, is that if you, if you multiply or add up uh, two weekends uh, every month for 20 years, um, it's a lot of performance uh, opportunities. Lula para mí es mi casa. Lula me abrió las puertas y me dijo bienvenida junto a todos los músicos estelarísimos que forman parte de esa gran plaza, de ese gran lugar. Y en Lula he tenido la posibilidad de cantar con otras orquestas. Eh, Lula me ha acogido con mi orquesta, Martelén y su orquesta. Uh, how can I say, it's like a movement of everybody kind of supporting each other and that's another thing that I don't know how unique it is to, to Toronto and Lula, but I hear, I hear it a lot from musicians that have traveled that people are impressed with the, the amount of uh, collaboration hap that happens in Toronto, the, the way musicians work together. 